Hi, Jonathan again. I hope everyone had a good week. It's time for a new lesson, so get comfortable, and when the bell rings, the lesson will begin. Wow, there have been a lot of changes in your life over the past few months. Change can sometimes feel scary. So this week's lesson is on coping with all this change. The biggest change for most of you has been the need to stay at home to keep everyone healthy. Remember, safety first. But this change came suddenly and unexpectedly, and has led to many other changes in your daily routines. Places you expected to go to have been closed, things you wanted have been sold out, and activities you have enjoyed doing have been canceled. This has led to disappointment. This type of disappointment is what I call not available. It's when you want, expect, or look forward to something, but it can't happen because it's just not available. For example, you may want to go back to school to see your teachers and friends, but it's not available because school is still closed. You may have expected to buy your favorite snack at the grocery store, but it's not available because it was sold out. You may have looked forward to going to your after-school activities in the spring, but they are not available because they have been canceled. It can be frustrating, confusing, or stressful when what you were used to is suddenly not available. So when things you want are not available, say to yourself, it's just not available right now. It can help you cope by reminding you that many of the things you are missing will be available again sometime in the future. This can make it easier for you to let go of your disappointment. Another way to cope with all the changes is to focus on some of the special things that are available to you now. Think of the things that you might never have gotten to do had you been at school every day. Maybe it's being able to get to know your teachers in a whole new way. Sometimes even getting to know their families and pets. Maybe it's being able to spend more time learning about a favorite topic or activity because you have more downtime. Maybe it's being able to learn new technology with online learning. Maybe it's being able to take a snooze or play some games between your online lessons, and you certainly weren't able to do that at school. Maybe it's being able to hang out and learn new things with your parents. Or maybe it's being able to sleep in a bit longer because you don't have to wake up to take the bus to school. You just have online classes. Many of the temporary changes you are experiencing now are due to things not being available. But eventually, they will become available again and your daily routine will go back to the way it was. When you think about change in this way, it can help you to cope and make you feel better. Activities. Think about the things you might actually miss once home quarantine is over. Make a list of those things and share them with your family. Activity number two. Make a card with the words at least on it and hang it where you can see it. When you are feeling sad or frustrated about what is not available, take a look at your card. It will be a reminder to think about what is available. Focusing on what you can do will help you to cope. While many of the typical things you would be doing are not available right now, there are still other things you can do. For example, I miss playing on my baseball team, but at least I can work on my catching and throwing skills in the backyard. I can't see my friends in person, but at least I can chat with them online. And on days when you get stuck and you can't think of anything, well, at least you tried. You might need your parents or other adults in your home to help you with a lesson or activities. If you can do the activities independently, feel free to teach what you have learned today to other members of your household. Hope to see you next time. Class dismissed.